Let's move on to the second matchup of the playoffs, which is going to be the New Orleans Saints versus the Chicago Bears. And before I get into this matchup, there have been reports leading up to this game saying that if the Saints season ends this year, in this game or later down the road in the playoffs that this would be Philip, not Philip Rivers, uh, Drew Brees' last season and that he would retire. So this is New Orleans' last chance to run this team with Drew Brees at the quarterback. And he's won one Super Bowl, obviously against the Colts. It's been so long since he's been there and the Saints have just been the on the receiving end of unfortunate luck in the playoffs. Obviously, the Minnesota Miracle in 2017-2018. And then the not-called defensive pass interference on the Los Angeles Rams in the 2018-2019 season. And now they've just been... They've made it to the playoffs for four straight seasons, but they haven't been able to muster much. And Drew Brees is only getting older, so it kind of makes sense that he would want to retire after this year. But it's one last chance for the Saints to let it ride with their franchise quarterback of old. But if they do lose this game, then they're going to have to find their new leader, either it's Taysom Hill or it's Jameis Winston or they'll draft somebody. I don't know, you know, but I'm just hoping that Drew Brees, that his season doesn't end, but I'm not going to get too far into it because I still have to talk about the Bears. They have to face the Chicago Bears, the New Orleans Saints, and it's not a given. A lot of people are underestimating the Chicago Bears team despite their record. They did lose their last game of the season against the Packers and had to get a little help from the Rams that stopped the scorching hot Arizona Cardinals. It was it was very surprising. I thought the Cardinals were going to make the playoffs this year, but the Rams' playoff fate was at stake too. And their defense came in when it mattered most, and they were able to win it, especially without Jared Goff. So now the Bears made it into the playoffs. They didn't win it. They didn't get in the most conventional way, but they still made it in. They're still a worthy team. But now the real question is again, is Mitchell Trubisky your starting quarterback of the future? Can you... Can he lead this team deep into the playoffs and potentially a Super Bowl? And a lot of people say that they don't believe that he is a starting caliber quarterback, that he he's done well in the last couple of games, but then there's just times where he doesn't examine the field properly. He overthrows, underthrows a lot of interceptions or just some key mistakes, key fumbles, but I think that's unfair criticism of Mitchell Trubisky. I've said in my previous videos, the quarterback position is one of the most difficult positions in the NFL. And no one will change my mind on that. And I think Mitchell Trubisky is the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. I think they should give him the keys to the kingdom and let him lead this franchise. Obviously, they didn't extend him in the offseason, so he'll be a free agent. But if I was them, I'd resign him because... I think he has a lot of chemistry with this team and I think he works well with everyone and he's just going to get better. It's only like his third or fourth year in the league. So you can't just give up on him. He's got to, got to give him a chance. You got to give this quarterback a chance, but continuing on with that, the bears, they have a couple of weapons on offense. Their defense obviously have Khalil Mack, but they've been hot and cold. They've won games by a lot. They've lost games by a lot. So because of their lack of weapons, lack of experience, obviously their only playoff game was a couple of years ago when Cody Parkey missed the field goal against the Eagles. So 
I believe that the playoff experience and Drew Brees has won a Super Bowl, so that's vital. They're going to have all their weapons, Kamara. They're going to have Michael Thomas. They had a couple of players out because of COVID uh, protocol tracing. They're going to have their full team back. And I just think that the Bears won't be able to handle a stacked Saints offense. And that's why I believe this game will be 31 Saints, 21 Bears. It's unfortunate that I don't believe the Bears will win this game. But honestly, after everything I've said, I still wouldn't count out a possible upset that the Bears could upset the Saints because because of their track record in the playoffs. But I just think it's highly unlikely. So don't count out a possible upset. But if the Saints handle business like they should, then the Saints will advance.